Hey guys, so today is gonna to be a little bit different of a video and I'm just going to be sharing my heart with you and my strong desire to be a mom even after six years of infertility. So as most of you know, my husband and I are currently doing a three month fertility challenge and we are a little bit past our second month of it and we're pretty much just done with it. Peter is not having me make his smoothie anymore because he cannot stand having the same thing day after day, even though he likes all the ingredients in it and his actually tastes a lot better than mine. And I'm having a hard time getting this green stuff down. Just before my period came, we were both at that point like, yeah, three months is going to have to be it. There's no way we can do this fertility challenge for four months like I had originally thought of because I know it takes 90 days for one healthy egg to develop and so basically by doing it three months I'm basically giving like one egg like a good shot so I, I was you know wanting to do it for four months if possible but it's just not something that you can do long term um it's just yeah it's just not because <laughs> This has been really difficult. Peter was expressing how he was kind of done with the diet. He's like, you know, I really want to be able to go out with people. Right now we're actually been doing this diet during COVID and I'm really glad it was during this time because we haven't had to, you know, at get togethers or whatever, be like, oh, sorry, you know, I can't eat that. Anyway, so I was really convinced month two that I was pregnant and I was like, I think I feel a little baby happy in me. So my period was two days late. And then in the morning when I've been taking my basal body temperature, my temperature dropped. And so I immediately knew my period was coming that day and I just started crying. But one encouraging thing that happened during month two was that even though we were ready to be able to give up, you know, the next month, at this point, we are willing to do this fertility diet for four months. And here's the reason why, is because I have been seeing improvements with my health. I and mean, one tangible way I saw this is actually during my period, I actually use a menstrual cup, which is amazing, um, non-toxic. So I was able to see my blood and previously my blood has been like purpley and clotty and just not normal. And this last cycle, it was the perfect red and there were like very little clots. So that was super encouraging because I know that what we're doing is helping. Um, and even though, you know, Peter is completely done drinking his fertility smoothie and I'm having to choke this back each day and Peter wants donuts and I want some Reese's peanut butter eggs that I bought on clearance. We are committed to doing this um, for this month and maybe up to month four. It's been exciting to see the changes start to happen, but I've been thinking about why do I actually want to be a mom? Like, I am putting myself through so much, it seems like right now, like, why? Why, you know? And so I started asking myself this. So I just journaled this out. And so I'm just going to read this. Um, so here's my heart to heart. Uh, this is my prayer journal slash just getting my thoughts out. So yeah, I'm going to have you get into my brain here for a sec. Today is day eight of my cycle in this third cycle of this diet, this three month fertility challenge. I am wanting this to work so bad that I am stressing myself out. And I even woke up probably around 4 a.m. with my thoughts and never even really went back to sleep. God, today at breakfast, Peter prayed for this too. It was so meaningful. I feel like he is starting to want a healthy pregnancy half as much as me. God, we know that a miracle needs to happen in order for us to conceive and I just feel helpless now. I've done everything humanly that I know to do, and now I have to leave the results up to you. And this is probably right where you want me. In one of the podcasts that I've been listening to, Get Pregnant Naturally, by the way, if you want a good podcast, go to Get Pregnant Naturally. Amazing content on there. 
Anyways, okay. Um, one of the episodes got me thinking about why do I want to be a mom? It's so hard to answer because, you know, I do love my freedoms each day of waking up after a full night's sleep and choosing what to do that day. It's nice to be able just to go to the store or plan dates and vacations and not think about bringing diapers, snacks, toys, get someone else to watch the kids, etc. I don't currently have to deal with bodily fluids from someone else and there's not someone who's constantly 24-7 saying, Mommy! 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 <laughs> I mean, that all sounds pretty good, right? But my desire to be a mom is still there. I want this house to be full of giggles. I want to be there to watch them learn and grow. I want to go to family events and things like parades and zoos, etc. and not feel weird there because we don't have kids. And I want to be able to see things fresh with their eyes and the wonder of a child. I want to make memories together of camping, movie nights, watching stars or clouds, library, reading books. These are all things I could do now, but you know, it's just better with kids. So I know that I want to be a mom, and we plan to be parents, whether it's natural or through adoption. So then I got thinking, okay, so why do I want a natural birth? If I could be a mom, you know, without the stretch marks, the loss of the use of my muscles to hold my pee in, weight gain, hormones, excruciating pain, etc. And now this reason feels a lot more selfish. I want to not feel broken and to be able to do something that is natural to a majority of women. I want to feel the strength of my body as God helps us do a miraculous thing, make a life, a life, another human who lives and will soon walk and talk and imagine and create. I want that. I know we will love any child that's brought into our home, so logically, it doesn't make sense that I would want to go through the pain of a child bearing and, you know, the results are going to be the same. I actually don't think that I'm one of those people who really love newborn babies. It's perhaps because I've let myself grow numb to it because it hasn't happened for me. But I much prefer when they just start walking or when they're starting to learn to jibber jabber. I love watching that stage. Although one experience I really want is breastfeeding, and that would only come if I gave birth naturally. God, I am ready for my life to be turned upside down and my freedom in how I spend my time to be given to a child or children. God, won't you please open my womb? So there you go. That's just a little short heart-to-heart -heart for me. Um, kind of where my headspace is at right now. You know, we... We are excited to be parents and I have like, you know, messaged with people that have adopted and the beauty of that and they say that there is still that strong desire to give birth naturally, even though they love like their, their children and, you know, they still want to be able to have the natural experience as well. And so I think that is just something that is so innate in us as women. I know the same result will be children, but... It's also about, I want, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I, it sounds entirely selfish when I say it, that it's just that I want the experience to know that my body is not broken and that I can do it. I don't even know if I'll post this because I just sound like a selfish brat. I feel like just like saying like, well, I just want to do it, you know? And uh, I hope you hear my heart. We're excited to be parents and we have hope this month. But it's also, it's like, it's an emotional roller coaster. It's like, oh man, my period comes and like, it's like the first two days, like I was just like done completely. Oh, my glasses are filthy. Um, I was just done completely. And then like day three, four, starting to get out of it. And then I was like, Peter, I think we could do four months of this if we needed to. And you know, he was like, okay, I think, I think so too. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. Thanks for listening. Thanks for following along. And uh, share this with someone else if that could maybe be encouraging to them. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see what the results will be. I'm kind of nervous that I started sharing this journey because we don't know what the results will be. And I'm 
getting more nervous now like oh, why did I start sharing this when I don't know what the results will be but I know this challenge can help people even if it doesn't end up with a positive uh, pregnancy for us but we're really hoping that it does so thanks for following along and we'll see you in the next video bye guys